All right, Coach, first practice in the books. How exciting is it to get it back out here? It feels great. Um, you know, right now there's been a lot of anticipation, you know, a lot of excitement, you know, in, in myself and in our coaching staff. It just feels great to see the guys on the field all together wearing their gear. They look like a team. Uh, the trouble now is that we don't get overexcited and we push them too hard too soon. It's still a process. If we try and do, there's too much information to get in. If we try and overload them with information, if we try and push them physically too hard, it's just going to break them down. Mentally, they'll, you know, they'll crack or even physically they'll, they'll fatigue and get injured. So that's probably the biggest focus that I have right now, making sure that we follow the plan that we put in place to help us grow at the, the right pace. Yeah, two weeks to your exhibition match. Uh... How do you go about preparing in such a short time? It, it is difficult. It's never enough time. Um, so what we typically do is, you know, just try and follow a plan of, of having the fundamental concepts that we want to be ingrained in the team first. We will do those. We're going to have games, not only preseason, but even the first few games of the season um, are going to be still learning processes for the, uh, the players. Our goal hopefully should be to keep moving forward so that we can get to the middle of the season, which for us will be the beginning of conference time conference season, that's when we hopefully are you know, hitting our stride and, and becoming more of a complete team. You know, you guys had a, quite a few bright spots last year. Uh, how do you carry that into this season and are your expectations higher for your team? Uh, yeah, we did. And the way that we've tried to push that message is that, you know, we've done extremely well, but we haven't been consistent with how we play. You know, we've had some great wins that we felt we deserved, but then we'll go ahead and, and our performance the next week will be very low. So I think for us, and, and that comes with maturity and experience and, and going into our third year only as a program, that's understandable. But yes, that's where our focus is. We want to remove that inconsistency and make sure we have the same level of performance every week in every game. So I think that's what we're drilling with the players. Hopefully the returning guys who have that experience can help reinforce that. And, and you know that will be our challenge. If we can get greater consistency, I think that will, will lead to us becoming a more successful team. It doesn't matter that we're a more talented team, which I believe we are, if we still remain as inconsistent, and then we'll, we'll follow a similar path as last year. So our goal is to make sure that we have the maturity and the consistency within this new group. Now, speaking of the new group, you got uh, uh, right now 10 new guys bringing in with your, your uh, returners from last year. How do you go about building the chemistry, which is so important for any team, to, to get ready for this season. Yeah. That, that's the difficult piece, especially when you only have two weeks to do it. So what we try and do is, to be quite honest, we try not to push them into a, um, a hole or, or push them into a certain category too soon, let their natural game develop a little bit and then we can hopefully utilize their strengths to build the team. So we give them a little bit of freedom, you know, in, in the first few days to establish themselves and then we start little by little bringing them into our concepts and the way we play, um, you know, and hopefully they learn some more of the, the relationships on the field with their teammates and it also allows them to grow and develop as, a, as an individual. So they will be having some growth, we'll be also working in certain individuals, how we see them uh, work or fit in within you know, positions and teammates. So it is a process and I, I'll be honest when I say I don't even know what that process is going to look like two weeks from now because it does change you know, day to day, session to session, but we know how to guide and I think that's the most important thing. As a coaching staff, we need to make sure that the players can develop at the right pace for us to be successful. And finally, what's what's the next step in the process for these two weeks for you after your first practice? Yeah, I mean, right now we're still just letting the guys get their feet wet, um, learn how their, their fellow teammates play, the returning guys need to learn how these new guys play. To be quite honest, this afternoon we're going to go into the classroom and we're going to have a, a, a presentation and a lecture on you know, what our identity is, what it means to represent UTRGV men's soccer. So I think that's a big piece of the first week, making sure they understand what it means to represent this university, what it means to be a part of the program, and what standards we hold them to. So once we've done that, I think the, the training aspect on the field becomes a lot smoother, a lot more you know, easier for them to understand.